<laughs> All right, everybody. Everybody, look up here. I'm going to give the message this week, and I wanted to talk about the story of David and Goliath. Some of you might be familiar with David and Goliath, but if you're not, I'll just kind of give you a little background. There was a war going on between the Israelites and the, the Philistines. The Philistines had Goliath, who was tall and big and strong. And the Israelites, Gina, come here. Come here. The Israelites had David. And this is kind of the comparison that we're looking at between David and Goliath. So do you think this little guy, David, is going to be able to beat this big guy, Goliath, in a war, in a fight, in a battle? Yeah. <laughs> you know the story, but if you're looking at it from outside and you don't know the story, you're saying, no way, he's too much bigger than him. But really what happened was David had some special talents, and God knew, and God knew those talents, and he put those talents to work. And each one of you have a special talent. And what you need to do throughout your life is find out what special talents God's given you and use that to help better the Word. So if you use your talents for the power of God and to be able to preach that on going forward, He'll bless you with more talents. And to kind of relate that to how we're at, what we're doing today in football, everyone has a talent. Everyone's faster, someone's better at getting the flag, someone's a better blocker, someone's a better thrower. But together as a team, all, all of our talents work together so we can win the game. So if someone's not blocking or someone's not catching, it's hard for that team to win the game. If that's not right, you know, individual talents aren't going to take over and win the game all the time. So, um, so I just want to instill you with that. Everyone find your talent and everyone look for it because it's out there and it's gonna, you're really going to be able to bless people with it. So um, let's take a um, – I'm going to pray now. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you for the weather. Thank you for holding off on the rain so we can get – um, our activities in and our footballs in and let everybody stay healthy and happy and have great attitudes for the rest of the day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.